Is Talking About Politics a Turn-On? by www.cibernoviasgo.com We were surprised when we read the results of a match survey about politics and your love life. We have always believed that the fastest way to kill your chances on a first date is to start talking about your ex or politics. Boy, were we surprised at the results of the match survey. After surveying 5,504 single American adults ranging from 18 to over 70, Match found that singles who are passionate about politics have 13% more orgasms and are 32% more likely to have multiple orgasms than the uninvested. This was the case for Democrats and Republicans alike. Political apathy, on the other hand, was considered a deal-breaker for a significant number of singles, with 25% of those surveyed saying they wouldn't date someone who isn't registered to vote, and 35% saying they wouldn't date someone who does not have an opinion on key political issues. The part that we found truly surprising is that a good political conversation increased the chances of a second date by 91%. Aside from whether or not talking about politics is a turn-on, is that Trump supporters were 99% more likely to have a sex tape of themselves, and 1,104% more likely to expect sexual contact on the first date. So, if you are looking for a hot first date, perhaps you want to start attending Trump rallies. However, Trump supporters were also more likely to be unemployed. Trump supporters were also 82% more likely to be unemployed. As Helen Fisher, Ph.D., and advisor to Match, commented to the Washington Post, One thing that Trump doesn't have is impulse control, and that's very appealing to this group of people. Clinton supporters were twice as likely to drink red wine, and six times as likely to be gay. They are also twice as likely to lie about how many sexual partners they have had. Our take on that stat is that a first date is not the time to start talking about your numbers of sexual conquests, but then again we were wrong in thinking that talking politics on a first date was a deal breaker. Does being a political activist get you laid? Long ago, back in the day of anti-war protests against the Vietnam War, it was not all that uncommon for couples to leave a demonstration and find a place to make love. Sometimes a hint of danger gets the hormones going. Is that what is involved in the case of talking politics, making a second date for likely? In our opinion, it sounds like one person or the other has a checklist that you need to score well on in order to make the grade for the next date. To a degree, this is okay because there is little reason aside from abject loneliness for going out on a second date with someone with whom you have nothing in common and really don't like. However, making up your mind on a person based on a checklist pass-fail system seems more like a guarantee for your long-term loneliness rather than the road to a happy relationship. For more great information in English and Spanish about online dating and relationships, visit www.cibernoviazgo.com.